<laughs> Black people love Tommy Egan. <laughs> they love him. We love him. At what point did you realize, because um, I loved hearing that 50 told you the culture, you know, has claimed you. At what point did you really understand that? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a white guy who's lucky enough to have had Black people that loved me since I was a baby. So um, I think that that was a luxury, but also an important dynamic in Tommy's character. So there was something innately in me that doesn't have to try to be comfortable around Black people or try to emulate that. It was like there was a truth in my understanding of, of uh, the greatness of Black culture. And also, I knew how much I owed Black culture in my own life. You know, mm -hmm. being a fan of not just like hip hop music or, or I mean, soul music uh, of the church, even uh, going to St. Sabina's, my, my uh, father's friends and family down in Auburn Gresham in the south side of Chicago. And, and, and when people are like, oh, you know, Joseph, you, you're invited to the cookout. I'm like, I've been going to the cookout since I was a kid. But like, but thank you. You know, so I think that that was a, 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 a positive uh, thing to add to the character and, and, and I think a ne necessary thing to add to the character but also um, to realize and, and truly cerebrally and phys just know that, that Tommy Egan was a product of black culture. Yeah. So um, I think that that's better than any award, that's better than any compliment you could ever get is by um, uh, you know, black culture saying, you, 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 you got it.